it's hitting me how perfect it all is. My heart is literally, <laughs> stop being dramatic. Ooh. I did not think that this was gonna work. Hi friends, how are ya? Oh my gosh, today is a big day of house projects. We are, we're about to fit a lot into a one day vlog, so buckle up, I hope you're ready. Here's what's going on. The couch that I custom ordered is being delivered and I am panicked that it's not gonna be able to fit around the corner up the stairs into my office because he can't return it. And worst case scenario, if that happens, we're just gonna use it in Jordy's studio because he wants to be able to have music friends sleep in there, but I really want it. We're, we're gonna find out today if that fits or not. Also, I have a fun package arriving sometime today or tomorrow. I custom ordered something sweet for Jacqueline, Anna, Kaylise, and me to all have matching bracelets. I ordered them from the Little Words Project because I'm getting to partner with them on today's video and I can't wait to show y'all what it is. Whenever it gets here, we'll unbox it together. Furniture should get here between like 12.30 to 1.30 and if we have time, I would love to go either look at the estate sale warehouse because it's been over a month, so I'm sure everything's new, or the outlet to see if I can find discounted furniture for a few of the things that I'm still looking for, just the peak, because I'm just gonna wait until I stumble across the perfect thing that is discounted for the things I have left, like desk chair and smaller things like that. Can't decide if I wanna start painting the upstairs today, but I'm hoping to wrap up all the house projects before 5 p.m. because tonight I'm going on a girl's day with like a big group. I think there's like over a dozen of us. We're gonna go to a pumpkin patch and then to go get, um, there's a restaurant here called Bird's Eye and it's kind of like a fusion restaurant. There's Thai, there's Indian, there's so many things and most of it's gluten-free. So that's our day. Where do I even start? Okay, I wanna check something. The couch unboxed is 78 inches, I think. It's kind of hard to tell from the dimensions that they have on their website because there's like different options since it's custom and then they don't tell you the dimensions of the one that you ended up ordering exactly anyways the largest it could be is 78 so i'm just going to do worst case scenario i'm nervous about this because it's short and this is the reason why the upstairs couch had to go over the balcony so okay 80 80 inches 80 inches well you know i paid for full service delivery so this is not gonna be me doing the geometry. They do this as a, as a profession. It should be fine. This is the corner I'm worried about because it has to go up the stairs and then shoop, around right through here. And then this doorway is quite narrow. So we'll just see when we see, but I've measured it and even with my big old desk, there's still plenty of room for this to go right up against the corner here and end about there. So shouldn't be too cramped, I don't think. I feel like I have so many updates for y'all. Okay, just a couple more. Let's just get through all the updates. Jordi and I have sat on it and we have decided that we are gonna return this. I just hate it, I just hate it, I hate it. So I'll show you the, like, the top that I've ordered as a replacement and we're actually gonna use the new top in our primary bedroom and then for now, just the rug that I had in my movie room in my last apartment is gonna go in here. And that's like a warm red, it feels very Southern, so I don't think that's our forever rug. I bought it off Amazon very cheap years ago. So it's just gonna be our in the meantime rug, and then I'll find the perfect thing for up here eventually. But I'll show you the things that I've ordered since I've seen you last, the new rug and some lighting that I'm excited about. So this is the new topper I've ordered that will go in our bedroom. Um, it's a little funky. It looks white from a distance, but when you look closer, it's almost like kind of a like freestyle, almost like graffiti adjacent sort of pattern. So I think that adds a little bit of like subtle, what Jordy is wanting to add in this house, which is like the kind of like funky 70s surf shack, kind of more whimsical feel. And then for lighting, I really, really, really wanted but I just don't think it's worth it to figure out a way to hang pendant lights on either side of the bed to like add some interest. But the thing is the fan is so far back and the ceilings, like it would probably be expensive to hire an electrician to figure out how to hardwire lights into the ceilings. So my solution is I found these on Amazon for literally $30 cause they're plug-in 
and I think that they're really cute with like the little pleated shade. And then I've ordered little brackets that kind of come out from the wall. And so you can like float them out from the wall over your bedside tables, which should be getting here soon too, I think. And last but not least, y'all know how much I love lights that look like hats, am I right? So I think for my office, kind of above the couch, I've ordered this one. This is also from Amazon. It's also plug-in. It's like, it reminds me of a flower. It reminds me of like a ranunculus, 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 ranunculus flower. <laughs> it has like rattan petals. Can you believe that they just have that on Amazon? So I will be continuing my floral hat lights, but that one will be upstairs. And the last lighting thing, well, actually there's two other lights I want to eventually find. One that I can float over the dining table here to kind of anchor that a little bit more and have like mood lighting, but is different enough from this. So I'm thinking maybe like a concrete or a stone could be cool and different. And eventually the one hardwired light I'd like to replace is in here. This one, let me just flip you around. This one is a little glitz and glam for me. I think it just reminds me of like my hometown in the South. And so what I would like to do is they have some really cool hardwired lights that have multiple bulbs that like kind of hang down on strings. I'd like to find one of that and like kind of like hang the bulbs from one single, um, what, is, what am I thinking of here? Like hardwired spot and be able to kind of string some over here as well because over here by the mirror, it is very dark. So if you're over and wanting to like check your makeup, you don't have good lighting over here. So I think it'd be cool to like string a couple of the bulbs. I'm a visual person. It's easier to show you than explain it. Like this light is my inspo. I don't have the budget for this light, but look at how cool this is that it has like different kind of leather straps holding up a ton of bulbs, but they're all just hardwired. Here's one with three. They're all just hardwired into one port and you can kind of hang them whimsically however you want, however close or far from the ceiling. Something like that to be able to kind of do like a weird art light installation in that bathroom and be able to pull some light over to another spot because there's no outlets in there. There's a cute little bird hopping through the front yard. There's no outlet, so I can't do any sort of plug-in light. It all has to come from that one source. So eventually, I will be looking for that as well. But those are my light and rug updates. I kind of really do want to start painting upstairs, but I don't even know if I have all the supplies I need. I'm gonna assess, make a game plan, eat some breakfast, and I think we'll stick around the house until after the couch delivery, and then we'll head out and run some errands whenever that is complete. Delivery will be here in about three hours, and I'm feeling pretty confident that I can sand, prep, and paint this within three hours. I don't think it'll be that much work. The paint is like a very dark, scary color, so we'll see. But I wanted to share an update about this. This is like a built-in desk and just the vibe of it, I don't love. To me, it's giving like Colorado Airbnb. <laughs> so like not quite the vibes I'm trying to go for here, but I was like, ah, eh, it's fine. I'm just gonna live with it. But one of my friends who has the cutest home, like she, she's basically, she could be a designer. She came over and she's like, well, I didn't even tell her I was iffy on keeping that. She's like, do you need that there? Because you have a desk. Jordy has desk and you were saying that you were worried about storage. So like you could turn that into storage. And I was like, actually great idea. One day it'd be fun to find like kind of a more vintagey like credenza here. So the bottom could be storage for board games and blankets and like all of the like chill movie room den stuff. And then up here could still be the gallery wall that I'm hoping to do. So I'll just keep my eye on Facebook marketplace for something like that. But let's get to prepping. I'm just gonna stay in my pajamas, sorry. I don't have anything else that I wouldn't mind getting paint on. And let's get to prepping and painting and let's see how, see how she goes. Done. It looks patchy because I just did a second coat in some spots, but not gonna lie, sometimes I question my own vision. I saw somebody use this color on TikTok and I was like, immediately, I need that. And I went down a rabbit hole of like watching other videos of other people use it and photos and everything. And I was like, yes, I love it. But now seeing it in here, I'm like, I hope I made an okay decision. But very little of this is gonna be seen because it's gonna be a gallery wall. So there's just gonna be hints through the photos. 
So I'm excited to see once it all comes together what I think of it. But something sweet that Jordy told me is he said, it'll be really fun to watch you try things and change your mind and try them again and just like watch this house continuously evolve over the years. And I was like, thank you for giving me that like confidence of like I could try something and then change my mind, uh, changing my mind on this rug. And I think, I think I'll love this, but we'll see over time. I was washing the paint off my arms and starting to get ready and I heard a knock at the door and I sprinted because I was really hoping it would be this and it is, it's my package from Little Words Project. As I've mentioned, I'm getting to work with them on today's video, meaning I have a discount code for y'all, but these are so special. And this company is just so intentional and meaningful and kind. Like it's everything that I want to stand for when I partner with a brand. I will have my code and my information, my link down below, but it's Mikkel for 15% off your order if you wanna shop. But essentially it was started by this girl who grew up feeling very bullied and um, she just wanted to kind of create something that promoted kindness and confidence. And so she started making herself these bracelets with little words on them. And then she went to college and started making them for her sorority sisters. And it kind of just became this movement and this thing. So thus the company was born. They have started an initiative called Little Words Big Impact Initiative, where they've donated now over $650,000 to different causes like um, cancer prevention, mental health awareness, and all sorts of things. So I think it's just really cool and special. They have so many pre-existing bracelets that are just so cute, or you can make your own. That's what I did. If you're new here to my channel, I just moved, and I moved away from my sister and my two best friends who are back in Texas. And so I thought that this would be a really cute opportunity from afar to make us all matching bracelets. So I designed these. They say bestie girl, which I think is so cute. This is called the snowflake stone. So they have different stones you could choose from. And then obviously I chose what it would say. I chose the white letters. You can add charms if you want, choose the size. So this is mine. And then I'm gonna write a sweet little note and stick it in the mail with these for all of them. And I just feel happy knowing that they can look down at their wrist throughout the day, look down and think, oh, Mikkel loves me, even though she's far away and just feel like encouraged and cared for, hopefully consistently from afar. So I think it's so sweet. Also, I wish I had found this before I asked everyone to be bridesmaids because that would also be so cute to do like a bridesmaid one. Um, a lot of people create their own stacks for themselves with like just different words that they want to like kind of be reminded about. So thank you to the Little Words Project for giving me a way to show the people I love a little bit of um, kindness and love from afar and for partnering with me on this video. And don't forget, I'm gonna have my link and my code down below, but it's just Mikkel for 15% off your order. If you wanna get things for yourself or for someone else or for a whole group of people, there's like lots of different special little uses and it's just, a nice little meaningful thing. But I was just watching the delivery of the couch and it looks like it got pushed back a little, 12.41 to 2.41, which means we have a little over an hour. And I kind of really wanna just go peek at the estate sale warehouse. I know I just took y'all there last time I was here, but if you missed it, Oceanside has this estate sale warehouse, like it sounds, where instead of going to an estate sale, they will clean out houses and bring it all to this one warehouse, which is so nice because it's always ever changing and it's all in one spot and there's just great prices, great furniture if you wanna buy things secondhand. And so every time I go, the inventory is just completely different, completely different. So just go see what's there. Some things that I am looking for is a desk chair, potentially a cool armchair for in here, Always looking for outdoor furniture. Eventually, I wouldn't be able to take this in my car. I'm looking for a new dresser for the primary room and then maybe eventually something to replace that desk up there. None of those things are essential, so I'm not just gonna just quickly buy something, but I'm gonna keep my eye out and see what we find. So maybe we do that before the couch gets here. Not gonna lie, driving into town, it just hits me like, oh, this is my life now. This is my town now. And it's such a cute town. It's such a cute town. And I was talking to Jordy on the drive over here and even just I think where we live is so perfect because I'm now on the main street where the estate sale warehouse is and it's closer to the water and it's so gloomy here. And the marine layer now, if you're like a mile from the water is pretty much all day. So it feels very Seattle. You never really see the sun, but we're inland. And so we actually get the sun and our friends that live like right by the water are wanting to move further for that very reason, because they're like, we never see the sun anymore. It's just the marine layer 
all day long. And I didn't even know that that was a thing until after we bought the house. And so I'm like, it's just crazy that things feel like they worked out so perfectly to where we're in a location that we like. The weather is really good in the location that we like. We're still accessible to like all of the really cute main street types of things. It's just, it's hitting me how perfect it all is. And I just feel like I kind of fell into it. I feel like Jordy did all of the research and the groundwork. And so I was thanking him on the way over here of thanks for thanks for finding this place for us and like having good taste and really working hard to build community. So I moved here and immediately have friendships. And it's just, he laid a lot of groundwork and made some really good decisions. And now I get to reap the benefits of it, which is cool. Anyways, that's enough introspective mushy mush mush for the day. Eventually one day I do want to find an antique door and sand it down and replace the barn door that goes to our bathroom. But I think it needs to be wider than this. Slash, I don't have the patience to sand anything right now, so I'll probably buy something previously stripped, but it's a hundred bucks, not bad. A rustic pie cooler. This is like perforated. I'm so intrigued. Oh my gosh, that's so cool actually. I don't have a spot for that, I don't think, but that is so cool. The price is great for this big of furniture. I've also always been tempted to get something like this for like makeup, <laughs> which is so silly. Obviously you'd have to replace the little, what do you call, like the file rack? What do you call that? Let's play a little game of would you rather, okay? Would you rather have to unironically put wash, brush, floss, flush on your wall of your bathroom or choose three of these faces to put somewhere in your house? Which would you rather? <laughs> <laughs> wow, it was really quite picked over today. Last time I was there, it was stuffed to the brims, but that's why you gotta check frequently. It changes so quickly, but worth checking. I've done my due diligence for at least a week or so until we check again. But Jordy just been on me for a little treat. I wasn't gonna get a treat today. I was gonna be a good girl, but he been me for one. So I kind of want to go to Seaborn. Seaborn's a really cute coffee shop. I think I've taken y'all there before, but it's like half coffee shop, half store, as a lot of coffee shops in this area are. I'm sure they do that to increase sales because I'm sure um, real estate is a little bit more expensive out here. So let's go, let's go get a little matcha and see what they got and then head home and wait for the couch. Okay, look at how fun this wall is. Also, something about Oceanside that I got to enjoy while it's here, because it's not going to be like this in five years, is how easy there is to find parking everywhere. Like parking lots, empty, everywhere. In California by the ocean, that is unheard of. I'm going to leave my matcha in the car. Okay, let's go peek for plants. So I got two plants. I'm gonna wait to get others until I find a big old cheap old nursery. But this spot is so cute for gifts too, if you ever need gifts. But how to get a monstera because I always have a monstera wherever I live and I feel like they're just so easy to keep alive. And then I had never seen this plant before. It's in the same family as a monstera because it is a, um, what is it called? A phil philodendron? But this is called a golden violin and it's trailing. So you can either like put a stick like they've done and it could trail upward on the stick or you could like let it kind of trail down from a shelf. Thought it was so beautiful. So nice to have a little bit of life in here. My goal is to get a lot of plants in here eventually because it gets such good light. But um, the funny thing, <laughs> I had just recently bought that nine foot faux olive tree that I had out on my patio in my apartment. And I love that thing. And I was like, this is great because it's like good for the background of videos, impossible to kill because it's fake. Wasn't the cheapest thing either, but it was an investment. And then I paid for them. They put it in the quote that I paid for them to bring it with them, the movers. And then I get a FaceTime call a couple days ago. Davina goes to check on the apartment to make sure everything went okay. And they left my olive tree. No way could I ever get a nine foot faux tree here without movers. So... I told Davina she can have it. <laughs> so that means less opportunity for greenery in here. So we just gotta get some real plants and hope whenever I'm out of town, house sitters help me keep them alive. One should totally go on the piano. Just a sec. Maybe not 
forever. But for now. I am going to do some computer work and eat some lunch while I wait for the couch to arrive. And then I'll check back in with y'all when it's time for that. Just got a call that the couch is 20 minutes away. I'm trying my best to get through all of my emails before they get here. But I'm excited and nervous that I'm not gonna be able to get it up there. They're here, why am I so nervous? I have Max on a leash so that he stays out of the way. Okay, we'll find out. My heart is literally... <laughs> Stop being dramatic. <laughs> They took off the door, but they got it in. They're building it right now. <sighs> I did not think that this was gonna work. <sighs> I'm so thankful. I'm gonna need help figuring out the most logical layout because the I, I measured for the couch before I bought it, but then the desk was a Facebook Marketplace buy and it is way larger than an average desk. So my layout might need some rethinking, but here she is, you ready? <laughs> It is a pull-out couch. Let's give it a little sit test. Jordi and I picked out the fabric together. We like ordered the swatches and picked out the fabric, but his hope is his whole family can stay with us at once, meaning this would become another guest room. Oh my gosh, it's so comfortable. They initially pushed it flush against this wall and then you couldn't get to these drawers of this desk, but let's see with me pushing it kind of catty corner. A, how this even opens, because I've never done it before, and B, if there's enough space for it to open. Okay. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, there is enough space to pull this out. It's a whole freaking bed. Not the worst. Not the best. <laughs> Oh, hi, Max. I didn't know you were out there. Okay. I have finished my computer work for the day, which feels great. And I'm going to put back together what's here. I also, I called the movers to ask any update on when you're going to arrive. They said, oh, maybe as soon as Thursday, which for me is tomorrow. But I haven't heard anything since then. So I don't know if I should kind of prep, which would mean like actually getting rid of that table, or if I should put it back for now so I have a place to sit. But I think I'm gonna ignore it for now and hope that they get here Friday or Saturday instead, which would be the next vlog, which would be so great. Anyways, I got off on a tangent. All that to say, I'm going to put the house back together and then get cute, take this boy on a walk, and head on out to my friend's house because we're all gonna ride together to the pumpkin patch and to dinner which is just fun, fun girl time. Are you saying you already want dinner? Dude, you know it's 3 p.m. here. I know it's 5 p.m. on your internal clock because you're still kind of on Texas time, but it's, it's 3 p.m. here, yeah. With this little stinker. Guys, my heart is so full. We literally hung out for five hours. And I love to have friends that are also just down to like be girls and like take pics and hype each other up. And it's so fun. And it's so fun to just be surrounded by the beauty here. There's just so many beautiful things everywhere. And then we got um, Thai food, but we all split everything. So we got to try a ton of things. And a lot of those girls are gluten free. So we got a lot of gluten-free things and I'm just so thankful 
that I've been here mere days and I already feel like there's such a community here for me. Like that's just such a blessing. And my heart is so full and guys, we did it. We did a whole vlog in one day. There will be more of these in the future. I'm reassessing my filming schedule now that I have this whole new life. And I'm thinking about kind of switching around the way I do some things, including more one day vlogs to have time for other creative projects that I wanna start. And also to be able to take weekends fully off. So. Just kind of throwing that out there. We'll see how it goes. With all the house stuff, I'm sure I'll be filming more um, because I don't want to miss anything. I want to document it all. But little by little, I'm about to take you out. I promise, I'm about to take you out. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tell them good night. But I wanted to say thanks again to the Little Words Project for partnering with me on this video. I've been wearing my bracelet all day and I cannot wait to pop them in the mail to my other girls back in Texas. Um, I'm gonna have my link and my code and all the information down below, but Mikel saves you 15% off your order. I love y'all. I hope you have the best rest of your night and I'm gonna see you in another video very soon. I'm gonna take out Dish Boy. Tonight.